Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and the mainstream media is once again refusing to tell you something that I'm going to reveal to you on my program. Now what you're about to hear is a bombshell clip of the going-ons of what's happening at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. Now we all know that that thing has been a living nightmare uh, since its explosion, since the earthquake, and things have just been get, continued to topple. Now we know the devastations that Chernobyl left behind, and we know that when Chernobyl happened, the mainstream media then dumbed it down and remained silent. Today, hundreds of thousands, if you will, have been affected by Chernobyl. Well, today, hundreds of thousands, I believe, are impacted once again in one way, shape, or form with the happenings with Fukushima directly. Now, I'm going to play a clip that the mainstream media refuses to share with you, but this is a clip that is uh, that took place at an NIRS, a Nuclear Information and Resource Service. They're a department that monitors nuclear activity uh, and kind of, you know, is, is a hub resource information for all of that. But they held a telebriefing. And at this telebriefing, a young woman calls in and she asks a question to one of the guest speakers. The guest speaker at this particular event, his name was Chief Engineer Arnie Gunderson. He's with Fairwinds and he drops a bombshell when this lady asks him a particular question. And I'm going to play it for you in just a moment. But the news briefing happened April 4th of this year and it was an event titled uh, Three Mile Island, Chernobyl and Fukushima Daiichi. Now please keep in mind when you hear the clip and it's just an audio clip that she's going to specifically ask about the radioactive waste that's being contained in bags. Take a listen to what she has to ask. Hi, um, I'm Norma Field calling from Chicago. A question I haven't had anyone able to answer me is that on recent visits, I've seen that those huge plastic garbage bags that hold the uh, waste from so-called decontamination in some places now have little chimneys attached to them. I'm imagining that since this is often organic waste that's been baking under the sun. There's gases that have to be released. Now, um, how effective are those bags at containing um, radionuclides if they have to be off-gassed in that way? Thank you. Yeah, you're, you're very observant. Uh, I, I noticed that when I was over there, too. Yeah, yeah, uh, to let our other listeners know, when you think of these large fields of bags, uh, they have organic matter in them. They have, you know, uh, leaves and grass clippings and tree limbs and on and on that as they decay, they give off methane gas, which, of course, is flammable. And the Japanese are terrified that um, they'll get a fire, essentially a spontaneous combustion in the center of these large piles uh, that could revolatilize a million bags of radioactive waste again. Um, so they have uh, pipes sticking out of the uh, out of the piles at uh, predetermined locations in an attempt to allow the uh, radioactive and non-radioactive gases, the explosive gases, to leak out. Um, you know, but I, I just keep thinking that sooner or later a, a lightning strike is going to cause one of these uh, uh, dumps of you know perhaps a million bags of radioactive. Uh, uh, contaminants to go up and fire again. Um, the bags themselves are designed for three to five years. And, you know, they're plastic, and, and plastic doesn't hold up very well in the environment. So essentially, the first bags are right up against their time limit now, and are beginning to break open and uh, have to be have to be rebagged. Um, what the Japanese are doing. Uh, uh, and I witnessed this. Uh, uh, we have some pictures up on the site about this. Is uh, they're uh, taking the bags that with the least contamination, and they're still contaminated, and burning them in incinerators that they're building. And um, no one's getting good data on uh, what's coming out those stacks. But I believe that the cesium is being released right up the stack again. In a nutshell, the Japanese government is terrified that a lot of these bags can spontaneously combust and cause fires, not to mention the radioactive cesium that's being leaked into the air and not a peep is being said about it. 
All that to say, there is a disaster happening in Japan. We know that it's hitting our shores here in America. We know fish by the thousands are dying in the oceans. We know that deformed creatures come up and, and uh, just in different shapes uh, because of the radioactivity. We know that birds have been dying all along the coast uh, there, Hawaii, California. Uh, what's going on in the Pacific is not a small thing. Anyhow, please make sure you're sharing this everywhere. And if you're not on some sort of iodine, now is the time to get on it and stay on it. I take iodine myself. Also, if you go to getthetea.com, my partner here, and I partner with him because I believe he has some of the best health products on the planet. Uh, get yourself cleansed and detoxed and keep yourself healthy from some of the things that we are attacked with on every angle. So go to getthetea.com and check that out as well. Well, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.